Some time ago we recognised that one of the things we'd like to do is be able to produce fresh home-baked uh, food in, in the building, in the centre. Uh, so we approached East Scotland to actually support us in that project. That I was a doctor all my working life and had a particular interest in healthy eating and in improving people's lifestyle. Uh, perhaps was one of the reasons that they asked me to become honorary president very recently. Um, but I, I, th I think that what they're doing here um, is very well thought out, very well planned, and I, I think it's been very successful. Well, because we now have a cook on site, which we didn't have before, uh, the big difference is that the cook, as they were doing yesterday, for example, can sit down and talk to people about diet, talk to people about their palate, what they can actually eat, what soft foods they can take on. And so it's given us an opportunity we really didn't have before. Um, the biggest thing we're hoping to is, is just simply p uh, increase quality. Um, the food we got before, which was brought in from an external caterer, was fine, but there was always problems with travelling and um, you know the, the fact that it was being transported into the centre. That was how it was, you know, and they really were awful good. They really, they really were awful good. The kitchen was started um, with the idea that they would produce fresh food um, using fresh produce, some of it from their own greenhouse. Um, they initially brought in food from outside caterers um, and they didn't want to use processed food. They also wanted the clients to have the, the smells coming from the kitchen which would encourage them to eat. Um, so we do find that most of the time it's, it's clear fruits and they'll even ask for seconds. But it, it surprised me how much they eat. Um, whereas before there was an awful lot of waste. Like now there's very little waste. Uh, it's no, no more much point to make a dinner for one. Right. When you can get it made here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, she comes in the she comes in the afternoon <laughs> when she remembers. <laughs> what do you say about your friend? No one wants to tell about how you think about the meal. And so we, we aim to have an ongoing dialogue with the clients in a very informal way about what they appreciate about the food, what they like, building things they like and dislike into diet, but also being flexible. So, uh, there is a significant group of people come here where outside agencies, including families, have significant concerns not only about the amount of food that a client is actually taking in, but you know what they're eating. So a big, a big achievement for this is uh, having the cook and post is that we can now monitor much more carefully the amount of food that a person's at. In fact, there's at least six clients at the moment we're keeping a day diary on what they're actually taking in this food. So this is about more than just producing a nice meal. It's about important interventions in old person's life because clearly some of them are not eating as well as families and carers would have liked out with this setting. So for them to have a relative who's coming here knowing that they are going to be eating some nutritiously based food on a regular basis throughout the week is a huge asset for them as well as for us. Hi. The Greenhouse was another award of money from a charitable organisation including Age Scotland uh, contribution. Uh, we had a whole area to the east side of the building uh, landscaped um, and it included the purchase of uh, a greenhouse in pot and shade but as well as bedded area for plants and it's been designed so that it's all kind of in a patio arrangement so clients can get up a proper ramp into the, uh, the area as well. This is the first full season we've had it, so we're all crossing fingers. We have a horticultural student who's working with us now and is going to be working with clients and doing some very basic sort of planting. And we hope that the aim is, is that we can produce some of our own vegetable and foodstuffs to use within and link it up to the cooking activity as well. Um, so fingers crossed we'll have a successful crop and, and season. Uh, oh, well, it was mainly soups, mainly soups that were made. Um, we had, uh, tomato soups, carrots, we had our own potatoes, um, grew our own herbs, um, so that they had a, a lot of flavour but without you know, using a lot of salt of that.
um, so again it's good for their diet. Um, the, we, had, we grew some peppers, um, cucumbers, so th th they had some salad but it was mainly in, the, in their soups. But it really did make a difference in the taste and the flavour, like just having it fresh from the greenhouse into the kitchen, washed and into the pot. Like, I mean, getting on the day as fresh as possible and you don't get fresher than the greenhouse. <laughs> so hopefully this year we're going to have even more and um, we're hoping to have uh, like a, a wider range. Uh, and it's, it's great, they love to see you know what's been grown and they love to hear that that's your soup that was made from what's come out of the greenhouse so you know they've thought of all aspects of it in the first place they they now grow vegetables themselves so that they can use the the, the vegetables that they've bought that they've that they've grown themselves and this gives the 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 clients an interest in where the food comes from before they were buying in ready meals um, and there was a huge amount of waste they weren't appetising and they weren't, um, they didn't encourage people to eat. And many of the clients who come here are reluctant to eat anyway. Now it can be anything from just that they, they, they don't like the food or they've got poor dentition and no one's given thought to whether thing, food needs to be chewed or not. Um, and also that the food I don't think was healthy and you know they, they need to get the um, an adequate amount of antioxidants in, in fruit and vegetables and a varied diet. When they arrive and come in they can smell the food cooking and I think that will stimulate their appetite for a start and then the food is presented um, in a way in which they would like. Um, instead of coming in and measured helpings um, they can be given the amount of food that they, they think they would like and have second rather than a huge plateful and be put off by that and leave too much. Uh, so they have a, a three course lunch starting with um, homemade soup every day, they get a different soup every day. The main course includes vegetables, um, either meat, fish or chicken. We try to give them a variety throughout the week. We try to ensure that they get the nutrients that they need. Um, so we, t we try and push it into to different things, sometimes that it's well hidden. <laughs> and they get a, they get a dessert. Um, often that's like mainly made with fruit, but they'll get maybe a fruit sponge and a custard. Again, we're trying to get um, calcium, things that, like that into their diet. We also offer in the afternoon um, a fresh fruit salad. Um, that's also given out to people that have got um, medical conditions such as diabetes or if somebody's having, like, cut, trying to cut down. But we do try to ensure that they've got a balanced diet um, using the freshest of ingredients for them really given them a sense of well-being and they can look forward to coming and infor look forward to enjoying their food. Great. So I think the whole project is, is exciting and um, I'm sure will make an enormous difference to the clients here. For company. Fairness in the home on your own.